Well, it was a big win. Um, I think offensively, uh, we did a lot of things really well. A lot of things that we need to fix up, um, but that's the exciting part is I think we could have you know, had a lot more opportunities. Um, if I would have thrown some better balls, maybe picked up some blitzes, made some more catches, um, all those things. Uh, I think if we would have played a perfect game, I think the score would have been a lot higher for us. Um, so just got to fix up those little things. So. Oh, I got you. My bad. I got you. Yeah, no, it was awesome. It's always fun to get to go back home and, uh, you know, get to play football in front of uh, the people that watched you grow up uh, playing it. So, you know, it means a lot to see all those guys in the in the stands and watching. Were you paying attention when the rankings came out on Sunday? Was that an important thing to you or not? No, not really. I mean, all the exterior stuff, um, you know, isn't something that we're focusing on. We're just, you know, trying to focus on getting better every day and going one another each week. And the rest will take care of itself. Do you think you'll ever reflect on it? Hmm. On, on contributing to the team being ranked for the first time in 24 years. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope at some at some point I'm sure we will. Um, but you know, we just want to continue to keep winning and uh, hopefully keep bumping up the rankings and you know just go from there. Yeah, you've got seven receivers who could end up with 20 plus catches this year, and some other guys too. Just how how helpful is that? That there's just a lot of different targets, different guys that have that kind of opportunity. Yeah. No, it's a huge. I think one of the things that we've talked about a lot this year is the depth that we have uh, all across the board, um, and especially in the receiver room. A lot of guys that can make plays, a lot of guys that can win one on one. Um, so, you know, no matter what the defense tries to do, um, you know, we got matchups everywhere across the field. So it's uh, it's exciting, and you know, it gives me a lot of confidence uh, going into each play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, uh, this is our, our third year together. Um, he had a huge year last year. I think he was our top um, receiver um, in receptions. Uh, so, you know, he's super consistent, uh, does a great job blocking, uh, running routes, catching the ball. Um, so just a really reliable target, and he's, uh, he's fun to throw the ball to. Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, one of the things that I say a lot about him is uh, he does a really good job of not trying to overcoach things. Um, so he makes he makes reads and you know playing this offense really simple. I don't want to say the offense is simple, um, but the way that he lays it out um, and makes it for a quarterback, you know, it seems simple to us, and that gives us a lot of confidence going into each read. You've seen Tajay Spears come back from injury. How gratifying, I guess, is it to see him kind of mm -hmm. come into the role that he has really shared the Eagles just had? Yeah, it's uh, it's really exciting. Um, just seeing him back in and you know. It's more than just football with him um, and what you guys see on the field. The, the things that he does for this team off the field and his leadership role um, really makes him stand out. You know, he comes to work going 110% every day and really inspires everybody around him and comes with a great attitude. And, you know, that's, that's bigger than just what he does on the field. As, as fast guys go, mm -hmm. how, how put in perspective how fast he is. Taze, yeah. oh, he's quick. Um, you know, it was really cool on that uh, on that run. Um, as soon as he got past past the uh, first level blockers, I, I knew he was gone. No doubt. No. Yep. Was it difficult exactly one year ago today to envision what's happening now? Yeah. Um, you know, the, the position we were in at this time last year, uh, you know, it wasn't great. Um, it, it it wasn't fun. Um, but you know, that that's in the past. It's something we're we're not really focusing on. We're just you know focusing on right now and the time and you know each week. I guess it's good for the program to, to demonstrate when, you know, how a remarkable turnaround is possible. Maybe it's good for sports in general. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I think any time that you face adversity, uh, you can either go one of two directions. Um, and I think that the steps that this team took and the people that stepped up in the leadership roles, um, you know, we, we only had one option but to go up. And uh, I think since January, that's what we've done uh, and everything that we've been doing. Is there anything in particular when you talk about people stepping up? Can you give an example of maybe something that you tried to do to change this to make this year different from last year? Yeah, uh, I think one of the biggest things that, I mean, the captains, we'd, we'd meet all the time. Um, we'd go over things. Um, I think one of the biggest things that we wanted to emphasize was accountability. Um, you know, every single day within whatever we were doing, um, conditioning, weightlifting, uh, extra throwing, all that kind of stuff, um, holding people accountable, making sure everybody was there on time. Um, just the little details. And, you know, those are the things that pay off and make a big difference in the game. And so it sounds like you didn't feel like last year's record was a talent thing. You felt like it was just kind of a 
going off the rails now. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of a lot of factors that made last year what it was. Uh, I think we were a really talented team. I think you guys saw that week one against Oklahoma, um, but you know things just didn't line up um, how we wanted them to, and you know that's what it was. Now that you guys are getting some notoriety, mm -hmm. do you think teams will play harder against you? Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I'd, I'd imagine that teams would, would try to prepare a little better. Um, obviously, when you're playing a team that you don't think is as talented, you know, people sometimes tend to lax a little bit um, in preparation. Um, but, you know, that's, that's really up to them if they're going to prepare or not. Mike, the 1 0 team, who, who started that? Was it a Coach Fritz thing? And yeah. Just expand on like, what that means to all you guys. Yeah, Coach Fritz uh, brought that to our attention. Um, you know, I think. After beating Kansas State, um, you know he's been really been emphasizing it all year. But after the Kansas State game, um, you know we just had to keep that mentality of you know not looking past anything. And really, after Southern Miss, um, you know we just we had to stay focused at the task at hand, uh, the opponent opponent coming up, um, and you know that's what we've been emphasizing is just one and out and uh, preparing each week for the team coming up. What are you saying from Memphis this week? What are you saying? A lot of different coverages. Um, you know, they're gonna mix it up. They're gonna try to disguise a whole bunch. Um, but you know, I think they have some indicators that you know we can pick up on. Um, so you know, I think they're a physical team. Uh, they play really hard. Um, you know, got some dudes on defense. So we're just gonna have to play well. Why do you think that? Uh, why do you think the one and thing works? Because it sounds really simple and cliche almost. You know, like trying to get better every day helps the team win and go one and this week. Wouldn't seem very compelling to people, but it, is there a way in which it really works for you? Well, I mean, yeah. Um, I think just you know, you know, one to know on the week, one to know on the day. Um, you know, not looking past anything. You know, taking every opportunity uh, in the time being, um, and you know, just trying to go 110 percent on everything we're, we're doing um, in the film room, on the field, conditioning. Um, you know, that all translates. Yeah, helped out for Southern Mass, man. Yep, no doubt. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Appreciate it. Thank you.